Welcome back to the Mastering Runeterra podcast with Jay and Bay, the number one source for competitive legends of Runeterra news and information. If you're looking for the best decks to play right now, right now. be sure to check us out on Twitter at Master Runeterra or in our Discord. And if you want to take the next step in leveling up your game, check out our Runeterra team on Patreon where we do weekly learning calls and one-on-one coaching. Now strap in and grab yourself some Boro snacks because we are about to start Mastering Runeterra. Welcome back to the Master of Trip podcast with Jay and Bay. We've got a real podcast for you guys today, like an actual show. Uh, I feel like the longest time I've been like, we had a show of sorts, some sort of us talking about whatever, mostly like Battle Spirit Saga, Magic, Flesh and Blood, but no, not today, uh, which is very exciting. Uh, I don't think I've ever been happier playing Terra. Maybe when I first started, like when we first started the podcast and stuff, like Zoe was new, and like the first season also was coming out. That was that was pretty hot. That's probably the most exciting, but this is probably yeah. second most exciting. I I would I would give this number one, only because like I'm so much more ingrained in the community and like more stuff going on. Like we've got the website now. Um, you know, we're producing like articles and content. We have like three podcasts now. Which we'll touch on that in a second. How dope was it to get the guys back together? Um, but yeah, this is like, this is what I always wanted. This is the reason I feel like I suffered through all of it for so long. There was like so much bullshit just to get to this. Cause I was like, if we had this, it would be so amazing. We just had like a way to play this game that we love and is really awesome all the time. How fucking awesome would that be? That's what I want. And like, it just didn't make sense to me. Like why we would not have that eventually got scary there for a little while. Touch and go. At moments, but I always just assumed we would end up here. And I mean, and to be fair, also this is like the the entrance. Like, what is this? This is like where you enter the building. This is like you know, this is day one. These are the first days of this new competitive. Like, you get to build off of this, which is super exciting. Um, but anyways, yeah, we have a real show for you today. I've actually been playing the Terra, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to talking about some of the decks, the meta, and like actually drilling down into some relevant. Uh, conversations. What do you got? Uh, a okay, lot. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to thank all of our uh, subscribers and sponsors. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, um, on the on the website, go do so. We are pumping out uh, deck guides for all of the top decks, uh, and then a bunch of the ones that are not top decks as well. Just everything and everything, anything and everything, um, as well as <clears throat> lineups, what you should be playing, why, how to ban things, um. You know, tips, tricks, other awesome things, daily, weekly learning calls. Uh, so go do that. Um, and thank you guys for supporting us. Also, uh, should mention we're doing that tournament every single month. This will probably come out too late for the one this month, which will be on Saturday. We're going to this on Friday. If it's not, go get your butts in there. Go play. It's going to be awesome. We've got sponsors now. Uh, also, like, uh, was it Get Help? Is that what they're called? I should learn our sponsors' names. You're the one who tells them. <laughs> it is BetterHelp. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was like, get help? That can't be it. That's a terrible name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Can you please. imagine? BetterHelp, Red Cross, um, and then we got a couple more, uh, which I didn't really plan on. Act- activate Gaming, Breakout Gaming. Uh, they're, they're through, they're not like our sponsors directly. They're through Batcherino. Uh, but okay. they put money into the prize pool and into our pockets uh, for whatever people uh, like follow them on Twitter or like their stuff or download their stuff. Uh, or if you come and watch our stream, there's going to be ads running and we're going to get money for that as well. And it's going to go to the prize pool as well, which is cool. More money for the community, more money for us to run tournaments. Awesome. Okay. Remember when, remember when a thousand dollar tournament would be like a $1,500 loss for us? Yes. That was our, our entire month and then some of revenue. And we were just like, here you go. And then I remember people would be like, this tournament sucks, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> people would come in and complain and be like, bro, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't believe it. I'm just giving away my money. It's not the way I want this tournament run. It's like, I could not care less. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. What are you doing? Anyways, okay. Um, 
Where should we start? Uh, so I wanted to start with um. We can start with ladder meta, but like it doesn't really matter very much. Um, so I figured we just jump right into the gauntlet stuff. A uh, ruthless rumble was as of recording yesterday was the first ruthless rumble. I thought it was going to start on Saturday, and I thought it was going to be one day. Uh, that was yeah, that was two days. I thought that's what they said originally. It's at least like Thursday, weekend. Friday. I think it might be the whole weekend. I think it's four days now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's nope. cool. Uh, competition on day one was tough, at least when I played it. I played like almost all my opponents like were known. I think I think like three of my six opponents were like known players. Then um, I played like stolen conj, Quaco, right? Like I, I played like like real players, um, very high quality games. Uh, I was very impressed. Yeah, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed the whole process. It made it really nice for. It was like really nice stream content. It was very good practice for me. Um. It was nice to have some stakes, right? Like, because I'm playing for the the open round buys, I want to get that second buy by the time the uh, world qualifier one comes out. Uh, so I think people took it seriously. And that was really nice. We'll talk about our uh, how was the overall experience, and then we'll get into how how it actually happened, like okay. how we did. Go ahead. <laughs> that was my overall experience. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh yeah, mine was the same. Um, the first two. Um, matches, I think I, there was a little bit some some rogueness going on, but I could tell that the players knew what they were doing. And then, yeah, at least I picked three players that like I kind of knew. One of them, shoot, it was the person that beat me. I think was the last round because I, I only got four wins instead of five because I lost the last one. And my God, did they lay a smackdown on me? Like I should go. Like I felt embarrassed. Like I I could just tell that they were just playing like absolutely clean. Just perfect. I just kind of like took advantage of me a little bit, like just like you know, just played, just played better, and just like squeaked out the games. Because like I don't know, you know, I have a tendency to play a little loose. Not, uh, you know, it's like I'm I'm up for these things, feeling good. Um, and I go into this one, and I I, did, I don't know if I made any like obvious misplays. I'm sure I made misplays as we all do, but I just remember being like. That, like I think that person and I both know that they fucking owned me. <laughs> they just caught me so good, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, and then today I've played two rounds. I played against Lazy Guga and uh, someone else that's like a name player. I beat both of them. Felt really good. Um, made some mistakes against Lazy. I'm sure he feels bad about that one because like straight punted a few turns. And I was like, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Gotcha. Because <laughs> uh, pick good decks. That's let me tell you. Good about. decks win games. Good decks win games. Uh, but man, it's been so much fun. This testing has been fantastic. I love it. I love playing best of three. Cause like like I said before, like I don't like scrimming because you kinda know what you're gonna get. Like, hey mod, I'm always swimming. Freaking Ionia spell decks. Like it's it's not the same. And like you kind of know each other, like what each other are playing, you've seen each other's lists, maybe. Um this is different. This like feels really good. And I'm surprised I've enjoyed closed deck lists. A little bit. What do you? What are your thoughts on this? Because like we're so used to open. I love open because uh, normally because it's really bad. Closed deck list is normally really bad for me because I just like never knew all the cards or what to play around. But now I do, and I'm like, no, that's cool. Like I, like I, I can figure it out. Uh, yeah. Before, like I don't know, I had a hard time being like, what could be in their deck again? Um, I don't know if that's because standard has less cards now or something. Um, but I've I've enjoyed closed deck list kind of. I don't really know. Maybe I just enjoy the overall experience. I'll enjoy open deck list even more. But like having to like screenshot their deck it's pain and a reference for like for every single like I get it for a big tournament. Like, okay, cool. I don't mind doing that. But doing it for every round of a of like every day is like I wouldn't do much. it. Usually like I have a pretty good memory. Um Yeah. So I usually like it. for seasonals, I'll screenshot because like seasonals are important. Um sometimes during the open rounds I won't. I'll just look and I'll be like, okay, these are all standard. Um, but like for Top Gun, I definitely will. Uh, but like here, I would have just clicked the name and like just look through it anyway and be like, okay, they're pairing the pandemoniums in the Smear list. Um, any copies of Might in the Leona list, like right, just like stuff that you need to watch out for. Um, so I'm not super worried about it. I'm obviously like a much stronger player in open deck list uh, because I'm just a, the more known information there is, the stronger of a player I am. Um, is kind of how it works for me. Yeah, you can uh, break things down. Yeah, yeah. 
so close to, but close deck is like fine. I have no problem with it. Uh, in super super big tournaments, I want I would prefer them to be open. But like close deck list for Gauntlet, I think is nice because I, there's like a a feel bad for a lot of especially more casual players. Like it, I feel like the more competitive players like don't care. Uh, but a lot of casual players want to like hide what they have, right? They want to yeah. be like, mm, "I'm gonna get them." Uh, God, and I, yeah, yeah. I would like people to be able to have that, right? Like, yeah. I what I wanted really badly, and I said it about three hundred times. I feel like is I wanted gauntlets to be the stepping stone, the foot in the doorway to competitive from casual to competitive play. Yes. Uh, yes. And if closed deck list makes people feel like one, it's easier because they don't have they have less things they have to think about. Right, like oh, you yes. go into your your open deck list, and all of a sudden you're presented with every single card your opponent's playing. You have to remember these, right? Like it's just it's hard. Oh, wow. It's just more on you. Um, yeah. So I feel like it would be more comfortable for a lot of people. And then yeah, a lot of people want to have that one of judgment, and they want to feel like a genius when they pull it off, and like that's great for them, right? If it gets them to try out competitive Verterra, that's awesome. I'm super down with that. Yeah. Um... I totally agree. I think I think I'm like okay, leaving it as is. Um, so yeah, I love it. I'm so happy that we have this. Like, I'm gonna be really sad. Two things: I'm gonna be sad when it's not best of three anymore, and I'm gonna be sad once I get the second buy that I don't really have any reason to play anymore. Mm -hmm. Like that's like because I'll probably I feel like I'm probably gonna have it like after the open because I think I'm gonna have one buy for the open and that shortly after I don't know what trophies give out at the open art, but I think it's a lot. Um, you probably, yeah. yeah. So like, I don't know what, so that, that means I have another like two months, two months and a bit even before the season resets and I have to get those again, like that. I want more. You'll probably still play it because you'll want the practice because it is yeah. good practice. Yeah. Yeah. And we've never really had that before in college. I need, I need something. I need some sort of state. Yeah. No, I get that. Uh, it's That's content for me. So. Yeah, that's all. It's, it's great for you, mm -hmm. killing it. Um, that must be a, a lot nicer than just playing the ladder all the time. Yeah, I mean, I like okay, so I like playing the ladder. Um, and left to my own devices, I would rather just play the ladder because I like to just pick my one deck that I want to play, and I want to play that deck. Um, Interesting. But sometimes you're just like playing ladder for two hours, and you're like, all right, I'm over this. Uh, then I could just jump in gauntlet, and that's kind of nice. It, yeah, it's I like a nice little theory. switch up. I think best of three is a beautiful format. I love it so much. Because, like, I don't know. You have to play, like, more matchups that you wouldn't normally. Stop. Yes, you do. Some decks really shine. Like, Varus decks have historically been, like, very, very good in best of three. And, like, basically unseen on ladder. Yeah. So cool. That it, like, that's the variety of it. Like, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Um, this is something else I was thinking about uh, before we get into, like, specific how we did and stuff. Um, now that everyone can play in seasonals, do you think, like, the Mogwais, the Sunnies of the world, will go play in these, like, open things? Because they're, like, yeah. kind of like a more casual thing now, right? Absolutely will. Uh, Sunny did a video where he played Seasonals, and it was, like, a very edited video. Uh, and yeah. it was very fun to watch. Yeah, because, like, I gotta tell you, Mogwai making day two of one of these things is probably gonna be the best thing that ever happens for the game. Yeah, or, like, Grappler or Sunny or anybody, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyone, anyone that made that has a bit more of a casual audience, so like, oh, uh, I can do it. <laughs> and even just them playing in it, I think, will be so good. <laughs> yeah, and it it being open now to everyone, I love it. I absolutely love it. And also, like, did you ever get? So I played a couple people in the Rumble, and I kind of had this sense like they hadn't played some best of three before. Like they were really good at one deck. And then, like, just seemed to have no idea how to play. It was one like of their a deck. different person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like a different person. I was like, oh, oh, welcome to best of three. Shit's different. You got to learn like all your decks, and it's fucking hard. It's and all the matchups. And there's a bunch of matchups that, like you said, you've never played before. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I love it. That's why I love the the dynamic of it. Uh, okay, let's get into s specifics. Do you want to uh, go first? Or you want to go second? Uh. I'll go first. I'll go first because I'll throw my stuff out there and then we'll get your expert opinion on stuff. Um, so day one, I just picked like, what, just decks. I was like, whatever. I picked um, uh, Fizz Samira, which I, I really like. Um, I picked um, Karma Set. Set. PNZ. Uh, 
No. Failure. Failure. Ah, I wanted to win those beers, huh? I mean, on the failure. Apparently, I'm still just banning Karma, so I don't think that. Oh, okay, yeah. Karma's I think Karma deck's busted. I think Karma deck's stupid. Like, I don't know if I've lost with that deck yet. It's incredible. It's it's also like I'm kind of both versions, it, both but we'll get to that in a great. second. Yeah, both versions I think are so good. And then I played, I played uh, Ari Kennan, <laughs> like their deck, my own just brew of Ari Kennan that I just threw together, um, and I went four and two. And I was like, yeah, okay, this Ari Kennan deck is like, it, it did, I won. I beat a bunch of stuff, but like, let's just put like a real deck in there. Uh, yeah. So today, I ran a few decks. Drift, like, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a lot. There was like some, there was some matchups I just like literally couldn't win. Like I just can't, I can't actually beat this deck. Um, So I, so today I'm playing uh, the bar deck. What is it? Jack Seraphine. Jack Seraphine bar, I which I want to get your deck. Yeah, so the deck seems good. For sure, um, it's a little, it's a little out there. It's a little crazy. It's doing some wilding, and if you don't yeah. do that thing that makes kegs or it dies, could be in trouble. Oh. But like it's yeah, probably the hardest deck to pilot correctly in the game right now. You really got to use like every piece of the buffalo kind of thing. Whereas like these karma decks, you're like just click pass, click pass some more, keep passing. Make sure you don't die. Kill deal that. with their stuff. Ramp if you're playing the failure version. Hit ten mana, kill them. Like doesn't just, yep. click, just click random cards in your hand till they die, kind of thing. Um, whereas, yeah, the bar deck not so much like that. You really need to like pick your spots with everything and like use like figure out what matters, what does it, well, which spells to use. Um, so yeah, and I'm I'm too low so far, and all my decks just feel like. Absolute fire. Love it. Um, um yeah. Okay. No, you go, you go. Okay, so I registered um set karma PNZ, Annie Caitlin, the Tibble mm. deck, and then Jack Seraphine. Um I registered nine X Caustic Griff. I wanted to be strong into Fizz Samira and I wanted to see if a counter Fizz Samira deck is like not only viable, but like should I even look in that direction? You know, is it worth basically. Uh, so that's what I showed up with. And I beat Fizz Samira basically like every time. Um, but the lineup had some issues. Uh, Annie Caitlin in particular didn't pull its weight, which is sad because I really like that deck. Um, so but right now, like we're trending really hard towards big mid-range. At Noxus, which is, it's just because uh, it, the meta is like Fizz Samira, Caustic Rift decks to beat Fizz Samira, Decks that don't care about cost. Which one's cost it? It's the Pilt Over and Zon card that deals one damage to everything on your opponent's side. Oh, oh, Caustic Rift. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, these mid-range decks don't care about Caustic Rift and all the PNZ removal and Built Water removal. Um, and then you have mid-range trying to out-mid-range each other, and then mid-range will get a little too big for its bridges, and Fist Samira will sneak back under. That's kind of what we're in right now. Um, I feel like Samira the whole time beating just about fucking everything. It's that, a great deck. It's just incredible. so good. I don't really know. People like Ash Nox is like, that's adorable. Or like these, uh, I also am not a fan of the Aatrox decks. Mm -hmm. Like they're, they're good for sure. But I like, I'd be on the verbal side. I'm telling you. I, um, I'm not registering Samira because I know how good it is. I don't need affirmation. Uh, I'm using these as like testing, practice testing out theories, kind of. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the first one, 9x Costa Griff, Annie Caitlin, Jack Samira. Um, and then my particular ban order was something along the lines of Cataclysm decks that scared me. Right, so like I didn't really want to play against Vaintrox. Um Tough's really good against me. Uh and then like big things can also be really good. So like I was banning um I think I banned Ash Noxus like a couple times. I banned um like like Jarvan Alawi type decks, right? Gwen, uh Gwen, Quinn. Like these kind of decks I banned. Um, and I left up Set Karma a lot more than I should have, and I knew that. That was purposeful. Uh, I left up Set Karma because I wanted to see if Jack Seraphine can hold its own against it. Um, and that matchup is a lot closer than we had originally thought. However, it's really, really, really hard to play it from the Jack Samira side. The Jack Seraphine side. Really hard to play. Uh, because like you said, if BB, uh, Mischievous Mariah dies... 
you look screwed. <laughs> you don't have damage in your deck, right? You have no threats. You play nine units. You're six champs. That's it. <laughs> um, and it's not like the the bar decks of old where you're just like turbo killing them at burst speed. You can, but it's like much more difficult. And because of how the set karma deck works is you're going to be threatening them right about the same time when they come online on turn 10. So you have to like 20 to zero them. Uh, the further one, it's a bit easier because they don't have like the pings for your kegs. So you could like put a mystic shot on the stack and they can't just shoot your keg in response. Um, they could like bounce it, right? There are, there is interaction, but um, specifically the PNZ one. And it went well. I was like kind of winning it, but it was like really, really, really hard. I ended up playing a match at the end. My final boss was Quaco, and we played one of the better matches that I've had in a really long time. It was an incredible match. Uh, it was very, it was so good that I just put it, it was just my YouTube video. It was just that match. Um, that was super fun. We had like a crazy game where I was playing Jack Seraphine and I OTK'd him. Like I did 20 in one turn. Um, after he had like Carmen set on the board. He, I think he still had Carmen set on the board when I did it. Wow. And then that was like a 35 minute game. And then the next game was like Annie Caitlin where I'd copied Broadbane and killed five of his six champs. And he had to sit there with Karma in hand and wait until he drew into his two copies of Mystic Shot that were left because I was at like seven. And so he had to wait and I was trying to, and I knew what he was doing. So I was trying to kill him before he drew into it. Right. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, it, it was just like an insane game. And then he, yeah, he found it and went Karma Mystic Mystic on the stack and I died. And then, yeah, I played Annie Caitlin into Ash Noxus and ended up losing that because I was like, if I hit Caustic Riff off the top four cards, I like win the game and I didn't and I lost and it was like, it was really close. Um, incredible match. Had a lot of fun, but like that lineup, I don't think it's going to do it for me. Um, I do want to be on like the, a bit less exploitive, just a bit stronger. So today I'm like hard pivoting and I'm going Vein Aatrox deep and oh, uh, Samira Varus, actually, yeah, yeah. I'm interested about the Samira Varus deck. It's been doing quite well. So that's um, what I'm playing today. I haven't gotten any games in yet, though. But that's what I registered. Yeah, I think already I'm hard locked into Samira deck, Karma deck X. Yeah, like, Karma is so good. So the problem I'm having with the Karma deck isn't like that. It's I'm just bored. <laughs> uh, yeah. I love Karma decks, and doing the thing is so fun. But the problem is like. Jason Seychelles actually tweeted something about this, I think like today or yesterday, is that every game with set karma is exactly the same. He says don't probably die. Set karma though. I don't know if that applied to PNZ as well. Maybe. Uh, so the Freyler, yeah, it, it, it's the same with PNZ. The problem I have with the Freyler one is that I ramped a 10 and then don't have a champion. And I'm like, yeah, get good, bro. Because you lose out on a lot of the draw. I think the PNZ one's better. Um, the Freyler one does some really good stuff in the mirror though. Like if you have a lineup that doesn't want to ban set karma, you should play the, P the Freyler one. That karma. What what else is good against the PNZ karma deck? Good question. People are telling me all sorts of things, and I right? keep beating them. <laughs> yeah, and why am this day? I like. I feel like the meta is like there's like a handful of good decks, and then there's a bunch of people being like, like going in circles, and like sometimes occasionally like beating these decks, but really they're just kind of like beating each other most of the time. And I was like, what are you guys doing over there? Like, what's even that? There's just new decks flying out of this like fucking right, circus. Yeah. Constantly, people talking all kinds of nonsense about this deck beats that deck and stuff. Um, like, I love me some deep. Don't get me wrong. And it's been putting up some numbers. Nick Mix plays number one on the ladder with it. But I am farming the hell out of that deck. Like, I mean, it could be that people aren't, you know, particularly good at playing it. That's that's what they that deck should sure. not be playing against Samira. Like, you should just ban Samira on site. And like, some of your yeah. matchups are not great. Like, people, okay, so people are like, oh, deep counters karma set because you go deep and you do the Maokai thing but it's like okay but if you just keep two champions in hand like what if you don't just draw Maokai that half, well deep is very very good how many Maokai three. you play it first off did they play the full three now yeah I you, still don't think you should play three but like because because you toss until there are only champions deep is very good at fighting his champions um, yeah but even then it's just like full takes a while I would just like look at my opening hand, I'm like none of these cards are karma. So I mulligan all of them, and I'm like, oh my god, I have a karma. And then I draw, you know, I have nine turns, or whatever, and I find a second karma, and I'm like, cool, I can't lose because you just wait till turn ten, you play karma, they try to kill her, and you just put two more karmas in your deck. Like they flip Maokai, and you like this is post Maokai flip, right? You just you just fill your deck up again, and then you just do it again and again and again and again. And again. Gotcha. Yeah. 
that's funny. Yeah, there's uh, that's the great thing about Rogero. There's lots of counters to counters to counters to different strategies. Um, when you're talking about the how good your matches were, mine were the same. Yeah. Like lots of very intricate, grindy, fun games back and forth. I could tell my opponent was, you know, thinking about their decisions. Like we were sitting there, like, oh, I think he's gonna do this. It's like I think I think he thinks I'm gonna do this. So like you know, like lots of like leveling and stuff going on. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, and this meta is really good too. Like people are bitching about rotation and whatever, but like first off, shut up. Second off. How fucking awesome is this meta? Like, Rodera hasn't been really fun, to, let alone, like, there being nothing to play for. There hasn't been, like, the meta hasn't been, like, great in a long time. It's been a while. We've been going through, like, Kaiza metas and, like, Aatrox, uh, right now. Aatrox, like, lots of shit that was just, like, oh, like, I just don't even ever want to play against this. Another thing that best of three kind of alleviates, you know? You don't want to see Karma decks? Guess what? There they go. Banned ya. Um, yeah, so let's see. Some of the things I want to try out are like some of the Demacia stuff. Where, where are you? I mean, I know this is not the person I should be asking, but um, first off, how do you like scout train? Scout this dude. Hey, scout, hey, scouts lately? I haven't been losing to scouts for two years, man. I'm not going to start now. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, I hate playing against that deck. I just like snap banned it when I saw it. It was like, there's some bad decks. I, yeah, I, I, I was just like, I don't want to play against that shit. I like to look at the list, especially if it's over rounds. I look at the list and I see if it has the one three in it. It makes your spells cost more. And if it does, I just let them play it and then I beat them. <laughs> That's it. That card's so bad. It's like actively bad. And people people will forever play it and I'll forever be thankful for that. Yeah. The deck that deck is good though with the uh what is it, blinding no, with the 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 two mana spell that pumps up your whole team. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Like, the problem that, with... that deck was very powerful a, a few seasons back. Yeah. It didn't like really lose it. The problem I have with scouts, like I think scouts can be really good. Uh, the problem I have with scouts right now, one, it's scouts. I don't ever want to play it. But two, like, do you ever beat the bigger mid? Like scouts' weakness are bigger mid range decks, and that is the whole meta. It's not the whole. It's really close. I I, if you take out Far Karma and Samira, it's Karma like and Bar and Samira. So you're talking about my whole lineup first off. Okay, but half the Samira decks are Leona decks. <laughs> Which are bigger than scouts. You're not winning that matchup, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is bigger than scouts. But yeah, I mean, let's I know. all the all the three O lineups. So I saw a lot of deep. I saw a lot of Ash Noxus. I saw like elites. Elites. You know, I saw yeah. like a, just bigger Demacia decks and stuff like that. Right? Like I don't know. Yeah, we'll I'm not convinced. We're not, we're not we're not the Demacia players. So. No, I'll never recommend scouts to people like <laughs> One deck that I thought was really good was the like the Quinn, um, what's it? Wet, yeah, Quinn Wet. Uh, yep. But I haven't seen that around as much. A little bit, falling off a bit. Let's deal with that deck. High rolly. Yeah, the deck really suffers when it doesn't draw a foyer or foyer or however you pronounce it. Um, uh, very good against things that can't really deal with what you're doing though. Oh my god, like yeah, your goldfish by goldfishing. I mean, like, if you solitaire the deck, like, if you're both doing your own thing, your ship's passing the night in the night, Gwen Quinn is very strong. Because <laughs> it just goes, like, you have Foyer, and then you play Gwen, and then you attack, and then you play Quinn, and then you Cataclysm, and then you attack, and then it's your turn, and then you attack, and then you attack. Like, just nuts. Yeah, but not a deck you're considering? I don't like it. It's not your kind of deck. No. Uh... Let's see, any other decks that are kind of popping off right now that we haven't talked about, touched on? Um, those are the big ones. Um, those were Puff, stuff, three, but... Puff, like, 5 would with Echo Jinx. Oh, yeah, I saw uh, that. Echo Jinx, a deck that I think people still are going to be kind of, like, underrating. Um, uh, Jinx rotated. <laughs> no, no, she's like, not. Actual, I haven't seen a Jinx. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what continues to do well throughout the weekend. Um... I'm going to be trying out a bunch of different stuff. Obviously, we have the tournament tomorrow, as of recording this, um, on Saturday. So I'm going to be playing in that. I don't know what I'm going to be playing yet. Uh, so I'll have to figure that out. But it's probably going to have set karma in it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I want my third deck to, to be. The bar deck is like... It's tough, man. That's a tough deck. <laughs> I, it's not... Yeah. I mean, for sure. It's just that's loose. That's, that's what I don't like about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I try to avoid those in open rounds. 
Yeah. I want a deck that just like 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 set karma is a deck that like you could do a bunch of things wrong and just like ah, I won. <laughs> I'm still gonna yeah. S- same with uh Samira, same thing. Like when I was playing against uh uh whoever, um I like just like straight fucked a couple things up, but just didn't matter. Just unimportant. Uh because like you're actually so good. Not like very, oh I'm te- yeah. no I had to sequence everything in the right order and think about which card I had to draw at the right next time like karma place uh, your bets win the game like <laughs> yeah doesn't game. matter I, what's a third deck that's like that though is there a third deck in the format that's like that on that level ah uh, for a lot of people I think it's gonna be like an Ash Noxus but I don't like that what deck. is what is with people on Ash Ash Noxus all of a sudden I don't know I mean I been... I love that deck like I love that deck and deep they have a special place in my heart uh and I love flame up like they are. In my opinion, like high tier two decks. Yeah, that's where I put them as well. I think I put Ashnox as a tier one point five just because like big stats are really good right now. Yeah, um, and you can like it, it's it's kind of tough to play against Ashnox sometimes when you're on other board based mid range decks because you're like, wow, I get blown up by their one mana brutal steal here, or like, yeah, oh, I can't deal with this fair. Asher. I'm, play, I'm not playing those decks at all. I'm like mm-hmm. I'm playing that's what's probably their bad matchup. So that yep. FMC boys. So I'll be playing I'm gonna playing S Karma. Uh for the actual open, I'll likely be playing like S Karma, Samira, something else, right? Same. Although I do I do just like the P and Z S Karma. Um I like like I was struggling with Froyord into things like Darkness. Um, because I can't kill their things without double avalanche, bro. Gah. <laughs> Draw your Yes. Set. Yeah, um, that's true. Okay. What if you just never play a unit out? They can't darkness anything, so they can't level their guy. You just keep avalanche in their shit. Even your ramp spells put out units. <laughs> that's true, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's kind of what um, I was running into. They just played Catalyzer on two, and I looked at my hand, I was like, oh. Darkness is pretty bad right now, though, I gotta say. Yeah, it's not great. Big units, not good for darkness. Um, yeah. I do like Vayne Aatrox. I'm going to be playing it in the Ruthless Rumble today, so I'll get back to you. You said it, you weren't high on Atrox. It's, it's just like obviously, yeah, it's it's powerful for yeah. sure. Sometimes you just go like four mana scout guy, weapon. There's, and then there's they die. Things. It just goes thing thing kill you. Yeah, like it's got yeah, and it grinds for forever. Grind it keeps grinding. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what I'm interested in? Try to make like another verbal deck, or like or an elusive deck of some sort. You know how like elusives would just kind of like come get people. Every now and then, uh, like I feel like, so like I was playing Ari Kennet, and I was doing some winning. I thought I thought more than I was when I went when I went back to my stats, but um, it's like the elusive stuff felt really good, uh, that whole package. So I don't know, like if there's a whole like maybe like a Demacia Ionia, like that used to be a thing, um, but something like something else that that did verbal things or that just did, elus- did elusive stuff be interested the okay. police are pretty damn good right now like in general you know. there is a um i think it's like jack nami or something like that and it's like that bar deck except it plays nami and it has a burbel fish top end instead of oh like a mischievous mirai type yeah, of thing interesting. it's very interesting i love how wide this bet is like you yeah it's crazy freaking wide it is insane do you, now, do you think this is like, and it seems legitimate too. It doesn't seem like yeah. like like where everyone's just trying a bunch of stuff out. No, I think it's going to hold. Yeah. I think there's like, some very strong pillars. Like, I think, I still think Samira decks, that's including multiple of them, and Ezra, uh, uh, Set Karma are the two best decks. I think they're the, the, the decks in tier one. I think everything else is below that. But if you really want to beat them, you like kind of can, or you can just ban them. Yeah. Um, you can you can beat them. They're beatable. Um, I love how like this new standard format, aka which came from rotation, and this new organized play format are absolutely bonkers amazing. And yet there was so much screaming and whining and shouting about rotation when it first happened. It was like literally like the whole community was turned over. It's like what you want is over here. I'm like no, I don't want it. I don't want it. Like, oh okay, yeah, no one got it. Yeah, you know, I felt so bad. I understand that it's like, I mean, we, we've seen rotation in card games before, right? Like, we're like, oh, yeah, no, this is a good thing. But people who haven't, I get that it's pretty scary. It's pretty yeah, scary. It's pretty feels bad. You know, it's not feels bad for us, but like, 
I think once Eternal comes around and people are playing with their old cards again, I think it just all goes away. I think that's really all it all it was because people have it's like identity politics kind of thing, right? People have it at Magic too. It's like I'm a green mate, I'm a blue mate. It's like that's yeah. that's your thing. It's like you mm-hmm. are. And so people are like I'm a Zoe player, I'm a whatever player. I don't know. I don't know who else got rotated. Thelios, Vlad, you. Vlad. Yeah, it's me. Um, <laughs> um. Um, but okay, the other thing I want to talk about was like we we still don't know some of the stuff for like the arena open, the which by the way we should probably read at ours so that this doesn't get confusing. Um, the riot arena open is. Do we call ours the master Terra open? Do we? Well, we had it first. They copied us. Uh, yeah, they did. That was uh, rat yeah, master. We've been running opens for like two years now. Thanks, That's guys. Yeah. You just keep seasonals. You know what? We'll name our seasonals. Fucking switch a rule on them. Show them. What up? I want. I was gonna. Master I was gonna change it to. Master. I was gonna change it to Grand Prix, Master Retire Grand Prix. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that works. Then the then the the advertisement came back and it said open on it, and I was like, fuck, whatever. <laughs> Send it. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Honestly, we don't know everything about the. Yeah, the we riot don't know. Event. We don't know like if there's gonna be coverage on day two. It's true. Uh, we don't know what kind of record you're gonna need to make day two. Um, X one is the current theory. They said they had, what they want everyone at X one to make it at least. Yeah, but the fact that like it doesn't end until like what ten o'clock our time or something. I have no idea. Something like that. So, um, right. so like you know, if you play in the morning, it's like less than twelve hours. Just yeah. wait all day though. Like it's like like should I be jamming more games, preparing for tomorrow? I guess if you die now. You know, yeah, you're just an but idiot. if you go night one or night two, you're like, man, am I not in? I imagine, like, it's gonna be sad they don't have coverage. That's gonna be fucked up if they don't have coverage. Yeah, um, and we haven't heard anything about it. Why do they do this? But they always do that. I know. Uh, I do think that whatever system we see for like the cut to day two, uh, will eventually be changed, tweaked. Yes. Yeah, I think everything will be, right? Yeah. Everything will be. I think what we have now is great and it's just it could just get better. Yep. Which is which is very exciting that it's so good out the gate. Which is which is really nice. Uh, I think there will be coverage because I reached out and was like, Hey, you guys aren't doing coverage, which are are you? If you're not, though, like we'll totally do it and like we'll we'll grab the other community members and do it with them. And I got crickets back. So <laughs> I think there probably will be coverage like they always do. They just say nothing. And like the day before, they're like, there's coverage. Two oh, no way there's coverage. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, oh, they're like, and they're like oh, why is there more people? <laughs> like, well, maybe you should have let us know more than 24 hours before the thing. But uh, whatever. Um, yeah. Fuck. Everything's everything's pretty good right now. Um, oh, I guess it's, I guess your article will be out already. But uh, Majin's writing an article on what you should be playing. In the open, that might have already happened by now, but you can still play the Rumbles. The Rumbles go until the 10th. I remember on the 10th, that's going to be best of three, but the old version. Oh, yeah, we didn't really touch on that. I thought you would have the option to play, like, the Daily Rumble or the high stakes one. I thought so as well. Yeah. I'm kind of glad they didn't because I do want more people to try the high stakes Rumble because I think best of three is good. I think it's, like, I think it's nice for people to get a taste of it. Maybe, Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some casual player is, like, jumping on to get their daily gauntlet and then they go i have to pay real money and then they get like slapped in the face uh so maybe that's yeah, yeah. Right, but... yeah it also like better. wasn't super clear on the client that it was this is coming up we're switching over to it now i went in and i actually like i paid with riot coins or whatever and then i clicked it and then it went in and i picked my one deck and then it was like pick two more decks and i was like is it Ruthless Rumble? The only reason I knew what was going on was because I knew that I knew about Ruthless Rumble. I didn't know it was that day. So Nothing told me that anything was different. Ruthless Rumble, though, when you sign up and the options are coins or that token instead of coins or those shards. That kind of tipped me off. But I just clicked the one that had the more numbers. Ruthless Rumble best of three standard if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Nobody knows how to read. We're card game players. <laughs> I look at the pictures. Day one, I saw Daily Rumble, 
and was like, is it best of three? Because that's all it says, Daily Rumble standard. So I clicked my first deck of three, so I thought, and if that was <laughs> that was just it. But like, I feel like mine is a little more justified. Yours, I feel like, they tweeted out about it at least. That was nice. That's something. Um, yeah, I yeah. didn't notice. I was on stream, so I like wasn't super... Fair enough. It's, in, it's also in the calendar thing now. Mm -hmm. Kind of, I think. That thing's always like, can you trust it? Is it up to date? Who knows? Yeah. Day one had all old information. I don't know why they couldn't get that going on day one, but day two they updated it. Got okay. Yes. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go right now and actually play one of my Rithus Rumble matches. I'm two zero currently, and uh, I'm gonna finish that bad boy off for a nice five zero. If anyone sees this and you are going like four and one or five and you get four or five wins, uh, tag the Mastering Terra account. We're retweeting them so you can go find all the winning lineups there that were. Putting them all together. And then put them out with an article. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So uh, make sure you do this. All right. That is it for us uh, for today. Um, catch us possibly on Monday. Uh, actually, we're not live streaming those anymore. I forgot to mention that we, we did the Rutera show, which we haven't done in like we did. a did. But we record them. Yeah. Yeah. It was in, like seven months or something. And like, man, it was nice to see the guys again. It wasn't it? It's been too long. It's, uh, it's got a little damning. It's been great. All right. This is it. We'll see you guys next week. Take care of yourselves. Love you.